Hello all and welcome to Home Schooling with Hera. Hope everyone is doing great. In today's video, we shall talk about GBL, which means game based learning. And the video is specifically about vocabulary games. So memorizing new words is a challenge for kids always. How we can make it simple for them? by playing some vocabulary games. You can collect vocabulary words from their storybooks, from their textbooks, from their magazines or some online spelling list. But the main challenge is to help them memorize those words and then making them use those words in their written and spoken English. So for that, we can use our GBL approach, game based learning and can help our kids memorize the vocabulary by playing some games. So let's begin it. But before we move any further, let me tell you that this channel is for you if you are interested in English phonics, English spelling rules, English grammar, English creative writing, and above all, how to teach all this stuff to your little ones in multi-sensory ways. So consider subscribing to the channel and dive in. Here is your game number one. This is vocabulary acronyms. How to play this? Write a word vertically and challenge students to write a word with each letter. For example, you can select a very common word like burger, write it vertically down and then ask children to find out some new words or some vivacious vocabulary with each of the letter of burger. B for brilliant, U for unanimous, R for raving, G for gregarious, E for egoistic, and R for reckless. Now this all depends on the level of children. If they are first graders, so these are vivacious vocabulary for them. So you can start giving words like this. You can make cards like this and then time and again ask children that can you please tell me what is the B of burger? What is the G of burger? What is the R of burger? And since it's a game, it will help them to do some effortless learning. Don't forget to explain the meanings and the usage of the words. Let's check out the next game. Game number two, it's vocabulary checkers. You all know what are checkers, right? But how to play vocabulary checkers? First, you need to make your checkerboard with two colors and write vocabulary in each square. If you want to get the checker, just check out the description box. I will upload a PDF there so you can print it simply. Second, you need to divide students into teams or pairs. Third, ask them to define a word if they want to occupy a square. Now, this is how they score points. Now, from here, the game is starting. Okay, this was the preparation. Point number one and two was the preparation. From three, the game is starting. Children need to define a word if, you if they want to acquire a square, right? And this is the result. The team who gets more squares will win. Let's have a look at the checkerboard. This is my checkerboard. Here you will see I have written team orange and team white. So you can play it with large groups, small groups or even with two kids in pairs. In these rectangles, vocabulary will be written. The team who occupies more boxes, more squares will win. How they will occupy a square? The words will be written here. They need to define a word or they can either use that word in a sentence. If they do it correctly, they will occupy the square. One who will get the more squares will win the game. So again, we encourage them to memorize vocabulary, but with GBL approach, right? So it will again become a little effortless. Game number three is Pictionaries. Now, what does it mean by Pictionaries? Check it out. Draw pictures and let your partner or team guess them. The one who gets the more correct answers will win. For example, the picture says that someone is picking a flower and there is a cross sign here. So what can be this word? It might be forbidden. If this is the right answer, the team will get a point. Now, how they will get uh, the exact word by looking at the picture? For this, you will first provide them spelling lists 
and then you will play the game. These memory games really help kids to memorize words without overburdening them because they think that they are going to have fun if they do this. So the process of learning becomes a bit effortless. Let's try to guess this picture. It might be sunset or sunrise. So let's check out the next game now. Game number four, charades. Now in this game, instead of drawing, children can act a vocab or they can also give hints to their partners to guess the right word. Let's make it more fun. For example, action is holding the tummy and making faces. What do you think? What can be the word? It could be stomach act. So like this, they can act the word and the other will guess it. Once again, the word list has already been provided or sometimes you can play it with general words, right? Game number five, the crumpled ball game. Let's see what happens in this. First, you need to write a vocab on a piece of paper and crumple it to make a ball, right? Second, sing a song and ask students to start passing the ball. Third, stop singing. Who has the ball will open the paper and give the meaning. If he gets it right, he will own the ball. If not, he will pass it to other. The one who has the most balls will win the game. Let's see an animation to understand it better. For example, these are your kids. They are just throwing the ball. You are singing the song. The point where you stop singing, they will stop throwing the ball. They will open the paper, read the word if they can define it. Or you can also ask them to use it in a sentence. If they can do it, they will own the ball. If not, they will pass it to others. And the team or the student who will collect the most ball will win the match. And this is again a kind of motivation to help them memorize words. Got you? And with this, this is the end of our today's video. Hope you have liked it. Hope you have got something useful from it. If you are interested in more multisensory stuff like this, like, subscribe and share my channel with others as well. I'll see you soon with something new. Take care. Bye for now. And don't forget to make it a great day. Bye.